Well, 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 Bill Montgomery makes it to the Supreme Court. I guess this video didn't age very well. In this episode of Watching the Watchers, we're talking about why Bill Montgomery, Maricopa County attorney, should not be appointed to the Arizona Supreme Court. In that video, I had a lot of problems with Bill Montgomery being appointed to the Supreme Court, mainly because I thought he was underqualified, and I also had a lot of problems with his policies that he enacted over the many years he was county attorney for Maricopa. But now it's a done deal. Bill Montgomery will be honorable. Bill Montgomery. Governor Ducey announced the appointment that he would be making on September 4th, 2019. He said, I was looking for an individual who wants to interpret the law, not someone who wants to write the law. He definitely got that with Bill Montgomery. Over Bill's time as county attorney for Maricopa, he interpreted the law all sorts of different ways. He wasn't in the legislature, he wasn't writing the laws, but when those laws came across his desk and he had to decide how to enforce them or not, he made sure to do so in a way that would serve his political end. As county attorney, there's good argument that Mr. Montgomery was supposed to do that. He was elected by the Arizona people, by Maricopa County voters, to go in and be the lead prosecutor, meaning he had to enact the platform that he promised. He had to go and carry out justice according to his vision. Now, however, as the Supreme Court Justice, his job should be to interpret the law as it stands before him. The main problem that I had was I was concerned that his politics, his personal beliefs, would carry over into his role as a judge and impact everybody's case as a result of his interpretation of the law. And when that happens, we see an erosion of people's rights. We see an erosion of their right to be free from illegal searches or an erosion of their right to go and seek counsel when they're under investigation for a crime. When these issues go in front of the courts, in particular the Supreme Court, these judges will interpret the law in a way that fits their political mindset. The job of a judge is a lot different, however. Judges are supposed to be apolitical, nonpartisan. They're supposed to hear the case before them, interpret the law as it pertains to that particular case, and then make a decision. Many other judges have gone through a number of other positions as judges prior to being appointed to the Supreme Court. Mr. Montgomery hasn't done that, so there's a lot of concern that he's going to bring in his political beliefs and his partisanship into his ruling and into his judicial role. We want to congratulate Mr. Montgomery. Obviously being appointed to the Supreme Court is a huge deal and a great honor. We want to give him the benefit of the doubt and hopefully we'll see that his position changes, that his role changes, that he recognizes that he's got a different part to play in the judicial process and rules accordingly. This move will also bring some major changes to Maricopa County. The interim county attorney is going to be Rachel Mitchell. I made a video about her as well and her role in the Kavanaugh hearings. She's somebody who's been with the county attorney's office for a very long time, was seen as a protege to Bill Montgomery. We're not sure if there's going to be any policy shifts or any real changes there, but if you have a case pending out of the Maricopa County Superior Court or any one of the justice courts, you may see some changes coming down the pike. If you or somebody you know or love has been charged with a crime and you need some help, give our office a call. We'll walk you through it. Otherwise, hit the subscribe button so that we can keep you apprised of all new developments with Mr. Montgomery, with Miss Mitchell, and with the judicial system across the state and across the country. Thanks for watching.